Oh, hi guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. This is Jonah from Crops and Succulents. I'm just done. Uh, how is wait? How is everybody? I hope everybody's doing good. I'm just done in front yard and it's cooler. It's just 68 degrees at 1.30 in the afternoon. Mike already called up so I can do my video. <laughs> No interruption. So what you're seeing is I'm heading towards this backyard because I'm pulling this uh, the cart. It's hard if you don't have a cameraman. <laughs> so I'm pulling this cart and my plan is to get this. Bear with me. So, I got this, uh, I think this is umbrella tree. I got it in a uh, nursery close to my house, like a four inches pot or six inches pot. She grew and then uh, her container is almost, uh, I think it's small already for her. So, I want to bring her out here then bring over there so I can uh, repot it on a, a bigger pot. All right, see you. I have only one hand using because the other one is just uh, holding the camera. So off camera, I'm gonna lip it up by myself. Hey guys, I was able to put her on this uh, trolley. So we're gonna move. Okay. I can wait for <laughs> for July or August. Might be retired. So I have help here. All right. So moving on. I love these plants. Actually, I put her on the bed planter and then she grew and then I said, oh, I, li I like her on a container. So I pulled her out and then she almost died. <laughs> but then still, you need to care as long as the roots is up. But all the leaves fell off. And now I'm worried because she's growing. I do believe the plant, uh, the I do believe she needs uh, vitamins or nutrients on her on her soil. So now we're here. Still hot. <laughs> How did I do how to do it? <laughs> so it's a. Uh... Oh, I'm wrong. It's not 68 degrees. It's 78 degrees over there. All right, let me study, let me make a plan how to transfer her and then let me set up the camera and then let me prepare the soil. Okay, we have an interruption again. This little boy is always here. Don't know why. And that is mommy. Hey, happy. Are you dozing up? Yeah, could be 1.30. Because I woke up this morning. I've seen you in the... I'm watching you in my kitchen window. You keep playing. You're so hyper. In the couch. Hey. Would you help mommy? You want to help mommy, Jonah? Are you my adopted cat? You wanna help me? I'm gonna repot that umbrella tree plants. Come on. Motivate me that I have the, the strength. <laughs> Hello, baby, baby boy. Did you wash already? Ah, you did, yeah. I saw you in the window. You keep washing everything. Your private and everything. All right, I need to work. 
Bye. See you around. Alright? Stay there and sleep. Take a nap. Oh, you're baby. Want some? Sitting in my head. Like it? Do you know what you're eating? <laughs> no, thank you. Let me tell a story. <laughs> because Happy is a very playful kitten. Mine is once. Uh... <laughs> so... Was, or my nephew was a kitten for for his daughter. So uh, happy is so baby. So I tried to catch him. <laughs> I was able to let her let him in because she's so playful. So I used the you know the one that I'm always using until he didn't realize that he's already inside the house. But that day, the whole night, he's crying, hiding. And my son is so... <laughs> can't sleep at night. Till midnight, he woke me up. He said, Mom, we need to catch that happy and then <laughs> let him out. So we... That's why he's so, so close to me. He's able to... To experience inside the house. Sometimes you want to get in, but I don't know. I'm worried that he's just gonna cry. Ha ah, happy. Happy, happy, my happy boy. I want. Okay, guys, so this is my umbrella plant. Uh, when I got her, she's just one or two stem, 2019. And then I planted her in my bed planter after a month but then I noticed that she's growing so good so I said no I, I like her maybe inside the house or maybe in the patio so I pulled her out my big mistake it's a there is a extensive or super super hot weather at that time Heat wave, in short, 2019. <laughs> so when I repotted her on uh, on one smaller than this container, oh my goodness, she's almost dying. It's like you have seen uh, someone that is dying. So, but uh, I check her, all the leaves fell off, but then, uh, I've seen the, I checked the branches and the roots so healthy. So I said, maybe she, <laughs> she got shocked <laughs> because it's a heat wave. There's a <laughs> big heat wave, 2019 here in California. So I didn't give up. So I, I repotted her. I kept repotting her. And then now this is her last pot. This one is uh, last year, I do believe, and she's growing, and let's check, and then if you check inside, there's a little soil, so she need nutrients on her new soil. So I'm gonna uh, amend the, the soil that I'm gonna use, and then see you around. Thank you, guys. So guys, let me put it down. was inside. That's always what I said. Oh, too heavy. Okay. I'm gonna check what's inside. This is hard. So beautiful. Hey. Can you see, guys? Okay. I have different gloves. <laughs> okay, let's 
see. At this time, I don't have neem oil anymore, so I'll just spray her next time. Oh my goodness. I need, I need help. Help. <laughs> this one. Mike said, we'll do everything when he comes back. <laughs> but I can't wait. These plants need to be repotted. <laughs> I think my personality, I don't give up. Oh. oh, there you go. Almost there. Bear with me, guys. We are almost there. Oh. Oh, my I think she's a root bound. There you go. Got it. She delivered. Okay, guys, the umbrella tree is already <laughs> out from the container. <laughs> oh, thank you, God, for helping me. Even I'm by myself. So, so if you will see, she has a lot of roots. Oh, Lord, Lord, look at the roots. So, uh, the the really secret for uh, for a plants to grow well is this uh the number one is soil 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 and then after the soil the the sunlight the sun and the water then vitamins is to follow actually i don't i don't give her any vitamins nothing at all <laughs> but look I think she's okay just with the with the soil with the I don't remember I put vitamins or whatever but look at she's already root bound look so I'm gonna clean her up and then uh, the last time I'm gonna document or video is the red body Look at the roots here. Let's put her up. Oh my. Can you figure out a four inches pot is just one of the leaves like this, one of the stem like this? Smaller than that, but look. So she really needs to be repot. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> look at that roots. I'm excited every time I see roots. It's like a, in human, it's like a vein. Many uh, blood is uh, coming in and out. So a person is healthy. So many, if you have a beautiful vein, uh, a beautiful correction, not vein, a, be a beautiful rose, which is so healthy like this. Look at that, look at that roots. Meaning, uh, she will grow more. So the next plan, guys, is just to, if you have uh, root bound plants like this with a lot of roots, just, uh, and then uh, like this one, I checked, there's no bugs. So I don't need to, to take out the, the, the soil. I, I'm just gonna release some soil over here like what I'm doing right now really so when I put it on the new planter these roots these roots will attach to the new soil that's the purpose of uh, 
releasing them, releasing some of the soil on the roots of the of the plants that you're gonna repot. So this soil, I did this. Uh, these roots will attach to the new soil, but if they are covered with soil completely, they cannot attach to the new soil, to the new bed planter or uh, or the new pots. All right, I think this is enough. Make sure you don't damage the so the soil. <laughs> Make sure you don't damage the the roots. Look, they're so healthy. So I'm happy because uh, she's healthy and I'm sure she will grow more. All right, it's time to repot her. Okay guys, so uh, we're done with uh, checking of the plants. There is no bugs, there is nothing, there is no mini bugs, there is uh, no anything. Okay guys, I'm almost done. I'm just putting more soil on her pots make sure there's no air pocket how to check that just wiggle it or push any anything that will uh, compress or compact the, the soil so here you go then I'm almost done in the end and I'll give you the river. Alright guys, she's so beautiful. Uh, this is the toughest <laughs> video I made because a uh, heavy plant, but I'm happy. And then uh, I might change her position because over there she got burn look. She got some burn leaves. Look. So I might put her here, close to the patio, for her to recover. All right, guys, see you on the reveal. Bye bye. Thank you so much for uh, watching my 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 video and to everyone. It's highly appreciated from the creator of uh, Crafts and Succulents, uh, Mike Chona. Josh, Gian, and Rich. It's highly appreciated. We love you. And always remember, God loves you. And Chona and the creators love you too. Bye-bye. But I got it only 50%, so meaning $15. So here she is. I hope you like her, and I hope she grow more and then change uh, the size of the pot in a few years. There you go.